Hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Wildberry Island. And today is a very special day because it is Elephant Appreciation Day, which I know seems really random to celebrate on our island, but this is indeed one of the many, many homes of our pixel biology community. And elephants are really fun, so I'm really excited to be able to celebrate in a very special way on Wildberry how amazing our pachyderm friends who share this earth with us really Really are by inviting Margie back over to the campsite and if you guys saw this morning's episode then you saw how easy it is to invite a villager to the campsite as long as you happen to have their precious amiibo card and we do indeed have Margie's amiibo card so today is going to be all about welcoming her back to the island at the campground celebrating with her and sprucing the campgrounds up a little bit because I had an epiphany of a waterfall idea that we're going to try out over over by the campground. Ah, so there we go. Yay, okay. I'm so excited when I have a to-do list. It actually lets me focus and that's kind of hard for me. <laughs> So today we're going to try to spruce up the area by the campsite, invite Margie back over, and potentially even see if she wants to house it for her friend Annalisa, and basically just take care of the rest of the villagers. We might even use our wonderful powers of terraforming to continue to work on Special Event Island too, because next week, next Wednesday, next Wednesday guys, next Wednesday is going to be, are you guys ready for this? Because I'm very excited. It's gonna be Earth Day! It is gonna be Earth Day, and rumor has it that we're going to have a very special update involving Leaf, the leaf-loving sloth, and Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I absolutely want to try to set up our village to be able to host special events by then. So today's special bridge project might be right over here, trying to make a bridge so that we can go ahead and get over to Special Event Island uh, whenever we need. Or, I wonder, do you guys think we should do a bridge? Or I wonder if we should do like a skipping stone path. Ooh, I'll have to show you guys that terraforming trick in just a little bit and we'll have to decide between the two. Ooh, that's gonna be a little tricky. But all right, let's go ahead and start our day talking with the ants because they are absolutely adorable. <gasps> I should try giving Annalisa an ant today. She is an ant eater after all and I've been meaning to give her some ants since she got here. She's very, very tidy and organized though, and that might be the final straw to make her like leave for a little bit. Maybe at least until Earth Day. Maybe her friend Margie will just like house sit for her for a week and then we'll use Annalisa's amiibo card to invite her back and apologize for giving her ants and an untidy environment to live in. <sighs> I'm working on it. All right, let's go ahead and check the mail. Maybe we'll upgrade the mailbox today too. <gasps> Sky sent us a letter. Get this, Siri. Yesterday I wore myself out, so I decided to sleep in and spend the whole morning lying around in bed. But I still woke up at the usual t time today, like I just couldn't wait to wear myself out all over again. Yours in frustration, Sky. <laughs> Sky, that is so cute! I wonder why she was so frustrated. Maybe we can give her a gift from our pockets and help her to relax today. There we go. And now we've got a peacock butterfly due to all of these amazing hybrid flowers that we've collected. I can't let Leaf come to our village for Earth Day and not have these things tidied up to some degree. Yay! All right! Tiger butterfly. Excellent, excellent. And I also can't let Leaf come to our village to celebrate Earth Day and not have gone ahead and crafted some of the amazing flower DIYs. <gasps> Guys, we need to set a goal of crafting enough flower crowns to give to all of the villagers on Earth Day, of course! That's gonna be so exciting! I wonder how many flower crowns we actually have. Alright, we have the hyacinth flower crown, which would be really easy. The cute rose flower crown, which would be really hard because it requires hybrid roses. The cool windflower crown would be really hard because it requires hybrid windflower rose- or hybrid windflower flowers. And the Cosmos crown we could actually pull off because we did plant a ton of Cosmos and we have little Cosmos gardens. So, hmm, I think the Cosmos one is my favorite so far. So I would love to do that. And I wonder if we craft a bunch of leaves, if we can just give these little leaf like mouthpieces to the villagers and they'll use them. We need to pick, we need to pick somebody as our <gasps> Cranston. Well, <gasps> you guys. Do you see who it is? It's Flick! 
It's Flick! Oh, this morning just got even more exciting. It's elephant day, Flick is here. I have a ton of tarantulas to hand over to him. You guys, I think we're paying off the, uh, the debt that the wildlife center happens to have. We'll have to definitely upgrade it pretty soon. We'll have to get out the, <gasps> the peacock butterfly. Of course, it is time. It is time to go ahead and give Flick three peacock butterflies and be able to get a commission of his wonderful art. Uh, he always reminds me of Alari because she does a lot of our art for our channel. But it's time to get a commission of his wonderful art. This is way too exciting. What a morning. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin now. I think I need to clear my pockets out of everything not related to... Oh, there's the ants again. We'll go ahead and catch them because Flick pays like double for all of the insects. Okay, this is exciting. And let's grab this one. Even if it's a humble yellow butterfly, he will be happy to see it. All right, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Yay, we can do a lot of upgrades. I think we will pay off our loan for the house today. Because that would be really good. <gasps> Look, and we get five times the Nook Miles for tending our garden. It's almost like we know Leaf is coming. I'm so excited to meet Leaf again. All right, let's go ahead and water the flowers. We'll take care of our blue hyacinths, which will make more blue hyacinths. And in case you guys missed it from this morning's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I know double dailies are a lot, but hopefully we will soon be able to do more streaming, which I look forward to. So keep your eyes out on our Twitch channel, guys, because I definitely plan on streaming New Horizons a lot more now that I have the streaming set up here on the new computer. And I plan on streaming New Horizons more because everybody is so happy and friendly when we get to spend the time together. I'm thinking we might visit at least once a week to start with, with KK and probably more often as I get some of our other pixel biology projects done. Oh, this is so fun. What a wonderful way to spend our morning, right? Let's go ahead and take care of these cosmos. I think these are cosmos. Yeah, these are cosmos, and we definitely want to have them grow up to be healthy so that next week we'll be able to create all of those crowns for everyone. And here are the stars of the show, you guys. These gorgeous orange tulips. These orange tulips are actually going to be the ones that with a little bit of luck will be able to go and become purple tulips, the rarest of all of the tulip varieties. So I hear conflicting information. Some people say black tulips make purple tulips. Some people say orange tulips make purple tulips. But we're gonna have to go ahead and see what happens if we just take care of the black and the orange tulips. There we go. And we've got a few little cosmos hiding back here. Maybe I do need to remove a few trees, Isabel. I could kind of see your point with how difficult it can be to see things. And then let's pick some weeds so we can have Cranston be our test guinea pig of the day. Oop, there's some more. Ooh, and they're actually next to some delicious oranges that we can pick too. But we'll have Cranston be our guinea pig of the day and see if he's able to put this little cute leaf in his mouth or not. All right, we'll gather these oranges up. We'll gather these weeds up. Excellent, excellent. I love how the wildlife of Wildberry is able to support so many adventures on the island. All right, let's see, is that enough weeds? Nah, we'll gather a few more. I'm not sure how many we need, but we can always leave the extra around our little crafting bench. Oh look, and we have a convenient crafting bench right over here. Well, might as well. And since we already made it this far on the beach, we can search for the morning DIY. Not over here. Let's craft up the leaf and then we'll go ahead and see. Let's craft. And we've got, okay, so you only need five. And we'll try giving this leaf to Cranston today. And we'll see if he'll wear it because it's so ridiculously cute. Oh, and then I just remembered. Those flower crowns are not the only things that we can actually craft that are leaf and plant related. We also have potted ivy, hanging terrariums, um, and let's see. We have this wind flower fan, which is actually like a, a fan, but it's a wind flower, which is kind of amazing. We have the bamboo shoot lamp that I definitely want to craft. And let me see if I can find it. We have the beautiful garden wagon. And we've also got like these hay beds, which might be fun to kind of put around the island. 
and we've got the big green leaf piles that we definitely need to put down and then these a mum cushion so we can make a mum cushion which would be amazing to have people be able to sit on those we can have cute little pansy tables and tulip surprise boxes sitting out absolutely i want to be able to make some of those oh let's see if we can catch this where'd you go buddy Aha! we got him it's a lot harder than you would think to catch these darner dragonflies. And then let's come and grab sea louse. Gotcha, gotcha. Little, or excuse me, wharf roach, not sea louse. And let's search for the daily DIY up along the beach before we start handing out our gifts. Checking in on Sky. Okay, no DIY over here. And then we do need to invite Margie over and see what she would like. And I do want to revamp some of the campground a little bit to be able to make it look even nicer and hopefully encourage more campers to come to our village without having to use amiibo cards. Because we haven't had a camper in quite a long time. Also, whoops, I forgot my Nook Miles. Yay, we got that huge bonus for watering the flowers. I love it. We are just so on top of having tons of extra nook miles. And we might need to start picking up our chair. <gasps> Sheldon, hey, what's up, dude? Yo, you been training cardio? Sheldon, good news! I'm going to be selling all of the tarantulas that we collected on that island, surviving through the night together, and it's going to be amazing! I'm going to keep one of them in order to put at the back of our survival training area, though. Don't worry. Maybe I should get, like, the tarantula commission and put it in the survival training area, but I want the peacock butterfly commission more. Gotta start the day off right. Muscles are a lifestyle, cardio. There you go, Sheldon. That's why Chips and I are trying to go on a daily walk every morning. Oh, there's the DIY right outside of Pierce's place. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. To a sharp scavenger. It turns out great DIY ideas can hit us at really inconvenient times, like just as I'm falling asleep. Then I had a crazy idea for sharing that recipe, and here we are! Well, from here, it's all you. Clever crafter Tammy. Oh, Tammy's a really sweet- <gasps> Tammy, I love you! Tammy's a really sweet villager, and she just taught us the Iron Garden Bench! What perfect timing! Excellent, excellent, where is it? Oh my gosh, yes. That is so perfect to be able to decorate for our upcoming parks and for Leaf coming over. Oh, I feel so professional being able to put an, a garden bench down. Also, what did we find? Ooh, flower tender! <gasps> Caretaking ringleader! I want to get the whole flower tender, like, guys, that's going to be one of our goals, to fill the entire card for being a flower tender. Absolutely on the list. Hey, Cranston. Aren't mornings neat? They totally are. I'm completely a morning person. You look great today. I'm feeling pretty fashionable too. Hardly a food, a food stain on me today. Transcend, that's adorable. I've got a leaf to give you. As soon as I take care of this. I knew I heard one. <gasps> it's red! Okay, theory has it that red balloons are DIYs. Is the theory true? The theory is not true. Oh, that's cute! A short sleeve shirt? That looks really nice and casual. That's really a short sleeve dress shirt. It literally looks like I just took my little apron off. <laughs> that is so cute! Okay, I'm really glad we found that. Cranston! Buddy, can you try this leaf on for me? Uh, what's, wait, what's the latest actually? You planted a bunch of kinds of stuff yesterday, huh? That's what I heard. Folks are talking about it. A bunch of kinds of stuff. I love you, Cranston. Folks are talking about how they maybe saw a snow squatch on a speedboat, too. Okay, thank you, Cranston. Alright, let's go ahead and give him this leaf. Alright, Cranston, we have a leaf for you. Let me go ahead and... There we go. Alright, wear it. Wear it. Oh, neat. It's a leaf. Man, this is really cool. I'm gonna try it on at home later. Oh, I guess he can't wear it. I'm gonna take it home and put on a fashion show for the bugs on my floor, sweatband. Ah... Uh... So he cannot wear it, it seems. I had a, a feeling that was the case, but I still wanted to try. Let's see how Pierce is doing in his new police hat that we gave him so he can be the little, like, sheriff of the island. <laughs> he's so cute. Look, he put his police hat right over here. And he's just licking the lollipop and wearing his little, his little flower crown. 
You're here, Jim. Make yourself at home. Pierce, I really feel like I have vastly influenced your life with all of the things I have given you. Everyone's really impressed with the cliffs you were making yesterday. So what's the next step? A wingsuit? Oh, that's so cool that he realized I was making cliffs. That was for the survival training area that we're making to put all of the creepy crawlies. All right, let's give him a gift. I am not sure what gift, but we'll just grab something. Uh, pajama dress, retro sweater, emblem blazer, short sleeve. The short sleeve dress shirt is cool, but I actually really don't want him to change out of his current outfit. <laughs> so I'm going to give him a, a mug. Have some nice morning tea, Pierce. Glad you like it. You've been working hard on those kindness muscles, haven't you? All right, good. Good. And, ah, uh, all right. Good morning, Pierce. It's not like I want them just to give me things, but it's really fun to see what kind of randomness they might provide. Alright, I'm gonna need to pick up more items if I want to keep up that gift-giving bonanza. Uh, also, I think I need to actually sort out some of these plants. There's a lot here. Good morning, Julian! Hey, what's the good word? Clear sky, smooth selling, living the dream, Siri. Excellent, Julian. I'm glad you like that jockey hat so much. Let's give him the dress shirt we just got, because I think it would suit him very well. Uh, emblem blazer... Actually, yeah, let's give him the dress shirt. Alright, short sleeve dress shirt. I can always buy it again from the Nook, uh, the Nook catalog. This is the kind of gift that I've got to try on right away. Looking good, Julian! The color is, is exquisite. Oh, maybe he likes white, uh, like, clothes more. Alright. Yay, more bugs to be able to take to Flick! Oh, I'm gonna have such a good day catching all the bugs and giving them to Flick so that we can just pay off a lot of whatever loan we have. Alright, so now that we have done that, let's go in to say hello to the Nooklings. And then we're going to head over, we're gonna invite Margie over, visit with her a little bit. Oh, what's this? Welcome to Nook's Granny! Oh guys, you've got a lot of great stuff today! I need to spend more money with you guys in order to be able to, uh, in order to be able to have you upgrade your shop, it seems. Alright, we'll go ahead and save all of the bugs, because we are totally going to be giving those to Flick now that we know that he is here. There you go. 6,000 bells, not bad. Might be enough to buy some of the stuff that you guys have got. Is this truly a... A little tambourine! <gasps> Okay, I'm totally buying that. We're gonna give it to one of the villagers and see if they use it. Maybe we can give it to Sheldon. We'll have to see if we're good enough friends. What's this? An oil lamp? Oh, wow. That seems like it'd be good for some of our villagers, but I'll pass for now. All right, thank you. And then let's grab this telescope. Because I always want to put them down. And actually, Isabel said this morning, and I missed it because I was drinking some tea while she was doing her little introduction, but there's actually going to be a meteor shower tonight. So I feel like Octavian might be happy because I think he was sticking around more or less until the next meteor shower. So being able to see the meteor shower is why he's here. And I feel like Julian, as the unicorn who summons the meteor showers for us, uh, has a little bit of a business responsibility for that. I do wish he'd take off the jockey hat. I actually didn't think he would wear it because, you know, he had a horn. I, that can't be comfortable. All right, let's see Annalisa real quick. I can't help it. I love visiting with the villagers. I do have a task today, though. Invite Margie. Hey, Annalisa! All right, do I have anything I could give her? Maybe the tambourine? Oh, she's reading a book. Nice of you to stop in, Gumdrop. Stay as long as you'd like. Let me ask you this. What kind of book would you want to have with you on a deserted island? That's kind of literally the situation you find yourself in right now, isn't it? Um, I would want... Not a mystery, because I would probably creep myself out. A business book, like... I always get tired by the capitalistic bent of the business books I read, though many of them are an excellent insight for keeping away burnout and for being able to organize your day. However, I think I would want a love story because that would that would spur my imagination and it would be best wrapped up in a rich fantasy world full of a unique ecosystem. Oh, is there anything better than an epic love story that transcends all space and time? Just imagine. Two castaways wash up on shore of a deserted island. They've never met, but now they must keep each other alive. Oh, Annalisa! 
Together they must fight wild beasts, brave storm after storm, and face their own personal demons. Then, against all odds, they fall madly in love. That book hasn't even been written yet, but it's already changed my life, Gumdrop. And at least I love her. I am so glad we'll be able just to bring her right back to the island anytime. Don't mind the mess on my imperial low table. I got clumsy and spilled something on it earlier, Gumdrop. That's a beautiful moss you spilled on it, Annalisa. Don't worry about it. Alright, so she's reading a love story about castaways washed up on a deserted island. It sounds amazing. That was Cranston. Let's see. Who else? Is Kitty home? Oh, Kitty's home! We've got to just check if anyone has any DIYs. It's very important. And I'm curious what Kitty- <gasps> Kitty's doing the DIY this morning! Alright, what would this very polite piano teacher teach us? Well, well, you seem awfully interested in what I'm making. You bet I am. I gotta know. Well, you see, I'm working on some gold bars! <laughs> Alright, as far as our role play of the island goes, Kitty is loaded. She's a very, very rich uh, pianist slash piano teacher who no doubt inherited some of her money and her taste. And she, um, she's got a lot of money. She, I, I, she's got a lot of money. I was daydreaming, you see, and the design just came to me. Then just like that, I made it happen. I know. Why don't you try making some gold bars, too? It's really quite exciting, and I'd be more than happy to teach you how. I know all the tricks, bro. All right, let's do this. Please teach me the gold bars. Because <laughs> that sounds amazing. It's a simple project. You'll be able to whip it up in no time as long as you have the materials. Wow, you guys. That's a bit of a pivot. I didn't expect Kitty to teach us gold bars. She's definitely from a rich family. I love using the DIYs to kind of have a little role play bent on everything. Um, wow. Giant pile of gold. That's fine. Really freaking cool. Too bad Ships is not available. I already have him come like over to the island to grab the DIY for that. You can have your friends visit when a character is doing a DIY and they can actually get that DIY. Just FYI for your DIY. <laughs> okay, that tickled me way too much to say. All right, well now that we have dashed around in circles and we have gone ahead, oh, there's some more ants. Oh, I forgot to give ants to, oh, we haven't given her a gift yet. Okay, I'm totally going to save one ant to give to Annalisa, and we're going to do our best to make that happen. But let's go ahead and invite Margie over and see what happens when we celebrate Elephant Day with a new face. Morning, Tom Nook. Morning, Isabel. All right, let's see. Yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful. All right. Okay, we're going to take a peek at the Nook shopping. I forgot to do that yesterday. Uh, oh, there's the garden faucet. I, I bought that last night from Tommy and Timmy, but then I accidentally gave it to Octavian. Probably ruining some of his house. Let's see. KK Malunga. Hmm. I am trying to get all of... Oh, I don't have enough money anyway. I am trying to get all of the KK things. We need to order our daily books later, but we'll worry about that later. All right, let's go ahead and invite Margie over. Another very easy thing to do. Just tapping her amiibo card up against the Joy-Con and... Dun dun dun! Margie! Happy Elephant Appreciation Day! Yeah, come on over, come on over! Alright, so now we'll go ahead and invite her over again. It's Elephant, Appreci it's elephant Appreciation Day, so, you know, very important to do that. I think Tom Nook, oh, he's so cute, sipping his little coffee. I love seeing how hard they work to keep the island going. And I still need to work on a bullet journal that reflects our island. Oh, Skye's sitting down in the reading nook. Oh, Skye, that's adorable. I love you so much. I hope you had a good night's rest. Ah, uh, Siri, how are things, Airmail? Airmail, days like today are just made for playing lacrosse. Oh, she likes to play lacrosse. Oh. I just, everything I learned about Sky, I just love her even more. All right, so here we are, guys. We're gonna work a little bit on the campsite today as our official project for bettering Wildberry. And today's project, 
I actually want to move this pond. We're gonna scoot the pond over to here and we're gonna make a waterfall going down into the pond. We're gonna see if we can achieve that awesomeness by the powers of terraforming. And I think it might be kind of tricky, but totally worth it to try to achieve something, uh, you know, along those lines. And I also want to go ahead and craft up something for Margie and see if she wants to move in and do some temporary house sitting for her friend Annalisa, who I love Annalisa. And I do not want to get rid of Annalisa, but I like the idea of rotating our villagers as long as I have their amiibo card. Which means Cranston can never leave because I don't have his amiibo card, much to my sorrow. Margie? I'm so glad you invited me here. I jumped on the first flight I could get to this island, Tootie. I'm planning to use this downtime to read some of my book backlog. So nice to have a break from the usual chores like this, Tootie. That's excellent, Margie. It'd be great to take home- <gasps> A terrarium, Margie! She has asked us to make a cutting board, a rocking horse, and now a terrarium. Okay, the cutting board is so rare. We'll be able to do some really fun giveaways with that. And a terrarium? Come on, Margie, you're amazing. Anyway, just an idea I had. I can do it for you. Teach me, teach me! A terrarium of all things! Yes, please, give me the DIY recipe. Thank you, Margie. I'll be around until morning. I really appreciate your offer. All right, we're doing this. And we will actually go ahead and bring a DIY table over here too, because I was thinking it'd be really nice to have a DIY table somewhere in our orchard so that we have at least one scattered in every quadrant of our, our entire island. That way, no matter where we are, we will have the ability to do good DIYs. All right, let's go ahead and learn this. Very excited. All right, we learned the DIY for the terrarium. Perfect. What a great way. We've learned gold bars today of all things. Uh, what was the other thing that we learned? Like at the beach? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what the beach taught us. Oh no. I can't believe I already forgot. The beach taught us something cool, I'm sure. The beach no doubt taught us something useful. Uh, gosh, what did I open in there? It wasn't the bonfire. I, oh, it was the garden bench! The garden bench. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, that's right. Very excited about that. And then we have oh, this terrarium! Two iron nuggets and clumps of weeds. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna make a couple terrariums. I'm actually gonna put this board game away because Margie has been more interested in like terrariums and cutting boards. So we'll try decorating that over here. And then we will try terraforming a waterfall to wrap up our morning tasks for Wildberry. I can never do as much as I want to because there's so much to do. Also, check this out. Our new bridge looks so awesome over here. Oh, I'm so happy about that. All right, where'd Flick go? No, Flick, you were supposed to be right here. <laughs> Conveniently located. <gasps> you guys, purple tulip, purple tulip. All of the people who said that it was actually orange tulips make purple tulips, clearly. Flower genetics are far more complicated than that. This is fantastic. We actually got the purple tulips. Like the first day we were trying. There's only like a 12% chance that you water the flowers every day that you'll get one of the new flowers. And the chance of getting one of the hybrid offspring is really low. So this is amazing. Okay, we're gonna water these guys again. That's so cool. I also need to bring our tarantula, oh, one tarantula over here for a little creepy crawly survival course, which of course is not to, you know, make everybody scared of them. Just, it's gonna be fun, cause Sheldon and I, we can call it the wildlife survival course. How about that? And we'll just have some important information about how to handle wasps, how to handle if you see a spider and their important role in the ecosystem. Don't freak out, they're good for us and all of that jazz. All right, let's find where Flick went. Flick, my friend! I need to bring you peacock butterflies. Are you hiding up here? He might be a little trickier to locate than I thought, but at least we're deep in the weeds. And I mean that in a positive way. Because we both need to sell weeds today. 
in our nook miles and I need to go ahead and turn a bunch of these weeds into terrariums. I am very tickled about that. All right, is that enough weeds? 13, 14. Plus the weeds will actually block. Look at how many weeds we have up here. I really need to get a nice incline so that I can get up here and we can do a little bit of work. All right, let's clear some of these away. They're so pretty, but they are blocking my flowers from being able to propagate, and that's a no-go. And we can always get more weeds if we need them on the other islands. And if I wanted to get enough weeds that we could just put them down as decoration, we can go to the random islands and we can bring them back. All right, how's that? 33 weeds should be almost enough, I think. There we go. Give our tulips here a little bit more space. Look, we've got some rare tulips up here too. Excellent. All right, let's climb back down. Wildberry, you're so beautiful. Why, why is there always just an endless amount of things to do? <laughs> it's so fun. All right, beautiful butterfly, who I will examine in a little bit. Flick, why? <gasps> he really has disappeared. Flick, why? <laughs> All right, so Flick is definitely playing hide and seek with us. However, we know he's here and we know I can sell my tarantulas to him. And we know that we'll be able at some point to get him to make us a commission. Gosh, that does make it a little tricky when he just vanishes on us. All right, well, we'll find him eventually, friends. <gasps> one of the rare, oh, see, the other butterfly that I want to get a commission of is actually this one. The Madagascan Sunset Moth. So let's make sure we have enough of these guys in the house that if we ever do run into Flick again... Are you over here, Flick? Flick! You're not over there, but that is a present? And this is money? Just gonna casually gather some of this up, don't mind me. Alright. We've gotta chase that present, guys. You never know, it could be a DIY recipe. Oh, it's already over here. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Also have to watch out because the weeds might... Don't... Okay, phew. There's so many weeds over here that could have cost us the present. That's when you know I'll actually start weeding, even though I love the greenery. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we got. I can't believe we already have a purple, the, like, rarest of the... <gasps> I'm so happy! <laughs> it's so cute! We have a purple... Beautiful purple, um, beautiful, beautiful purple tulip. And I just got a watermelon dress. Did you know? I need to find the picture. I don't think I have the picture. I think my sister has the picture. But this actually brings tears to my eyes in a very special way because when I was little, my grandmother handmade me a watermelon dress that looks almost exactly like this. And I wore it for years. This just <laughs> tears in my eyes, you guys. That really means a lot to me. I know it seems silly, but it really, really means a lot to me because it was, you know, something my grandma made for me. And that dress, I don't even know where it ended up. It's probably in my mom's terrifyingly full garage. Uh, but that dress just meant a ton to me. So gosh, this makes me happy. I can't believe I have like grandma's watermelon dress back in Animal Crossing decades later. So cool. Cranston? Cranston, you're naked and covered in fleas. This is why I love this boy. This is this is why I love this boy. Oh, and there's Annalisa. She's out. We can try giving her an aunt. And Sky is always singing. Sky is always singing. Maybe we can give her like a, a music instrument, like a bamboo flute or an an ocarina would be perfect for her. Oh no, I am very distracted. All right, Cranston's naked and covered in fleas. Let's go ahead and fix that. Got it. Sorry, Cranston, didn't mean to interrupt your adorable running. You saved me from a flea? I guess you could say that was the fleeced you could do. Cranston, you're adorable. All right, that was important. And let's run this way. Flick is somewhere, we'll find him eventually. And let's go ahead and craft up the terrarium. There we go. I'm so happy that we have the terrarium recipe. And then we actually need some more iron. So let's poke at one of our rocks down here. 
and see if we can get enough iron for today. Let's just settle right in. I wish I knew where Flick was. That's promising. That's very promising. Good, good, good. Yes, good job, tree. And they're telling me there's too many trees on this island, honestly. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and craft a cutting board and an extra terrarium to use as decorations for the area. Let's see, oh, that's from tapping a rock, there we go. As decorations for the area around the campsite. And we'll talk to Margie and we'll see if she wants to come and visit with her friend Annalisa. Hey, Annalisa, so much to see, even when you're just out for a walk, Gumdrop. I heard that you were really busy planting yesterday, Gumdrop. I've always felt like planting is its own reward. It just feels good to dig in the soil and grow things. Oh, I agree with you, Annalisa. Also, do you want an actual ant? Let's try giving it to her. There's a balloon. I hear the balloon. Oh, what an extraordinary ant! What a great specimen. Thank you for finding this for me. I love it! Yay! Okay, so Annalisa does like ants. She is an ant eater. So, you know, I was I was kind of banking on some knowledge. Oh, I feel like I'm eight years old again wearing this watermelon dress. Not in a bad way, but just in a like, aww, kind of cutesy way. We got a judge's bell! All right, you guys, go! Whoops. <laughs> race, race, race! Okay, that's kind of cute. Totally could give that to Sheldon. I think he'd like it. And Sky is like walking away from all of them because they're so busy and she's trying to focus. So adorable. All right, I'm going to change out of the watermelon dress because I, I, it distracts me from focusing on trying to get work done. We're going to wear the apron. Totally keeping that dress though. And the worn out jeans. Yeah. All right. And now we're going to roll up our sleeves. And since Flick has decided to hide from us, for now, I will get him later, don't you worry, guys. I will give him the peacock butterflies, and I will say, please, Flick. Also, I, I will try to give him the tarantula. I'll see if I can find him and show you guys selling all the tarantulas to him. Could it be? Did you make me the terrarium? All ready for you. Right here. I've had folks on this island make pieces for me, and all of them have turned out to be high quality so far. Thanks so much. I'm so excited to have a terrarium from here. As a thanks, please take some tortoise specks. Oh, we could give those to Kitty. Those would be a perfect gift from Kitty. I'm so glad to have souvenirs from here, but I'm hoping to collect even more. On top of collecting souvenirs, I want to learn all there is to know about this island, Tootie. If only I could stay here forever. All right, so I think we could go ahead and invite her and let her, like take over for Annalisa for like a week and maybe invite Annalisa back. Sort of nervous to do this, but it is International Elephant Day. I always realize after getting away like this that it's good to take some time alone to think, Tootie. Oh, I didn't mean that to sound like I'm being so- I don't like being social. I'm really grateful I have friends to talk to. Everyone's been so generous. I feel lucky to be headed home with souvenirs crafted just for me. It might be great to live here and be part of this community. Why don't you move here and see? Thanks for making me feel welcome. Hopefully resident services here feels the same way you do. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and see how this works. Sorry to keep you waiting. I checked with resident services, but the news wasn't good. There's no room for new homes, and the homes that are already standing are occupied. I wonder if anyone is planning on moving out. Is there anyone you think who might be moving out? All right, so we're gonna say that Annalisa is leaving, but just temporarily, guys. We'll invite her back next week. Okay. Maybe I can find a way to ask that won't seem too pushy. So we're gonna go ahead and... It's Siri, isn't it? Glad I got your name right. So anyway, your instinct was right. Annalisa's planning to move. When I explained my situation, she agreed to up her moving plans. Thanks so much for encouraging me. I can't wait to be part of the community here, Tootie. Yay! Okay, so basically, we're going to say that Annalisa is not moving away forever because we freaking love her. But her friend Margie is going to step in for about a week to do some house sitting. And then we will try to invite Annalisa back using her amiibo card in a, next week for Earth Day. Or we might let Margie stay here a little bit longer and have Annalisa come visit 
and we're, we're totally going to say that Annalise is just like, you know, having Margie house set. So don't worry guys, Annalisa, our wonderful anteater we found on a beautiful island full of, I, I think she was the first hybrid flower island we found actually, which says a lot about how cool she is, but we will not leave her forever. Do not fear. Also, where the heck has Flick gone? I have no idea. But let's wrap up today with our big project. And then I will try to find Flick and add in a little bit of the clip of selling him the gigantic pile of, of tarantulas that I have. Let's see if we can do this, because I want to see if we can make a waterfall. So we're going to start construction. There we go. Let's do this. We're going to put on our little helmet. I'm on it! Oh, this looks so cute. All right, and we're going to go ahead and try adding to the cliff right here and right here. There we go. I want to make a bit of a bigger cliff. And then we're going to make the waterway, the pond. I think this is going to be a lot easier than I think. We're going to make a, a, whoops, a pond spot right here. There we go. No, 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 don't fill that in, don't fill that in. Come on over. This is so much easier than I thought it would be. What the heck? And then you can fill in like the parts that you don't want without having to, oh, there, that was cute. All right. Make that, I want you to make that a little curve. No, don't cover that up. All right, so there we go. There's that. We can fill the pond in a little more over here and have more areas to put down like benches, maybe DIY projects. I wonder how I can... No, 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 don't cover that up. I wanted that part of the pond. Okay, so it is a little tricky because you have to kind of like get a natural sense for... There we go. For how to poke at this, but... Nice, nice. Nice! Okay, so you can kind of like play with how you want to enlarge the size. Let's do this a little more. Right there. Right there. And fish will respawn in the pond areas that you do like this. So if you're worried because you're like, oh, but what if I don't get any, any fish now? They will actually show up. Oh, we did it! We moved the pond! Look at how cool that is! And now let's run up to the top. That was so easy. I really thought it was going to be a lot harder than that. And now we're going to have to see if we can. Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. I don't think I can put the waterfall on the third level like I wanted to, unfortunately. But maybe I can remove some of the cliff then. Okay, so you can't remove the cliff next to the waterfall. Noted. But that was so easy, you guys! I just had this thought before we decided to invite Elise to our- or excuse me, Margie to our island. That, you know, how cool would it be? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you can- you can do that little curve! That's so cute! And look at the little island we made! Or like, look at the little pond we rerouted! That's so cool! Alright, terraforming powers for the win, you guys. That was too fun. I am so impressed that we just like whipped that together. Just, just perfect. Just wait until you guys see how I want to be able to make skipping stones so that we'll actually be able to get over the island and over some of the rivers even easier. So, alright, that's fantastic! And now I really need to like hoof it and try to find Flick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I hear it. I hear it. My ears are attuned to this. I'm telling you guys. Balloon Expert Siri. I was trained in Bunny Day 2020. And I have become a balloon expert. So let's do this. Okay, where do you think you're going? Hmm? Hmm? Do you come bearing more wonderful news for our pixel-loving community? Alright, let's go ahead and see what we got. And... 
A diner dining table. Very retro. Good for a nice summer outdoor picnic that we might have one day. But all right, so that was really fun. We have now terraformed ourselves a waterfall over by the campsite. I'm very happy about that. Uh, we have a brand new villager incoming with Margie coming to visit for a couple, maybe about a week or so. Maybe she'll visit a little bit longer if she likes Earth Day and we all get along really well. And somewhere on this island is Flick. We are going to turn in our tarantulas and all of these peacock butterflies to him by heck. And we are going to make this, no, 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 we get, we're, okay, swap, swap. We're not letting that butterfly go. Drop those stones. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> and we have a purple tulip. So a wonderful, beautiful morning on top of the amazing evening that we had here on Wildberry. Clearly, as time goes on, there is so much more and more and more to do than I expected. So definitely check out our Twitch. A link is in the video description to where you can join on the fun over there. I am so busy with the Pixel Biology community projects. I don't know how often I'm going to be able to stream, but being able to stream our Wildberry adventures over there is a huge goal of mine that I am going to be working on as best I can because there is just so much to do. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like because it truly does help Wildberry to thrive like never before. I thought that was Flick for just a second. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Finally, I found you. All right. Commission for the peacock butterflies. Wonderful, wonderful. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. And then uh, when I have completed my labors as the midwife to the muse, I'll ship you the peacock butterfly by mail. All right, project number one done. Now to go get all my tarantulas. All right, tarantula operation number one. Half of the tarantulas that have been secretly living in my attic in the wildlife research center. All right, that's only half of them. There you go, Flick. What do you think? All right, he's very excited. <gasps> 276,000 bells! Oh. My. Gosh. All right, tarantula operation part two, plus one blue bottle butterfly that I found on my way here. And what do we have? All right, come on, Flick. Another 192,000 bells. Oh my gosh, he really loves his tarantulas. We have 500,000, 500,000 dollars, you guys. I love Flick, he is my new best friend. Absolutely my new best friend. He is amazing. Let's go ahead and do this. We're not even gonna mess around. We are going to actually wrap up today's adventures in Animal Crossing with going ahead, this is just too amazing, Going ahead and we're just straight up going to pay off our loan and talk to Tom Nook about it. Like, come on, loan payments. We're going to go ahead and we'll pay from savings. We're just going to pay the full amount that I have sitting in the savings there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pay from pockets. Just toss that full amount in here at like nobody's business. Boom. Yay! All right, you guys. Oh, Isabel's clapping for us and Tom Nook's clapping for us. Come on, Tom Nook. Come talk to me. We've done it. We've paid off this loan. Thank you once again for the diligent repayment of your home loan. Yes, yes. All right, we're gonna, yes, totally expanding. Come on, I know how it is. Come talk to me. We want this. Very excited. All right, let's do this. Let's talk about my home. And we're gonna go ahead and we wanna expand it again. Let's do it, let's do it. Why, with a hammer and some elbow grease, we can put on a large one-room second story on your home. Of course, adding a new floor does entail heavy construction fees. We'll be talking about a loan of 1,248,000 bells. Are you interested? Now that I know the secret of tarantulas, Tom Nook, of course I am. Let's do it. Everything should be ready by tomorrow morning. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow morning for the brand new, vastly expanded wildlife research center here on Wildberry Island. Bye bye.